where 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 is this? this is a very interesting piece hmm. gotta find it for you that'll help uh and that is uh, about conservatives who are uh, who have said, you know, look, uh, I'm older, uh, I may die, but I don't want the country. Uh, but I, I think of the country first. They were they were mocked. The various uh, older uh, conservatives who who have said that. Here, yeah, here we go. Yahoo News. In coronavirus pandemic, Trump allies say they're ready to die for the economy. That's the headline. Conservative supporters of President Trump are increasingly volunteering to risk death and implicitly the death of elderly and at-risk Americans from the coronavirus if it will help the economy. You, you, you realize the, trivial, the trivialization? The economy. How about tens of millions of Americans to be able to pay for, the, for their home and sustain a family? The economy. Wow, conservatives, wow, they're willing to risk their death for the economy. The trivialization of it is, is, uh, is quite obvious. On Monday evening, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick explained how the trade-off between saving lives and spurring the economy worked in his mind. No, it's not a matter of saving lives and spurring the economy. <laughs> spurring, the way the whole thing is written, that's why I'm reading this to you. I'm reading it to you for two reasons. One, to show you how, how conservatives love their country. Much more than uh, folks on the left. I mean, that, that's not even a charge. It's just a fact. I'm talking about leftists, not liberals. That, that's, that's right. I'm in, I'm in this group, and I would say the same thing. Though I, I am theoretically a more susceptible, at a more susceptible age, uh, I care more about America's survival than I do of my own. That is correct. This strikes liberals like Yahoo News as sick. That's right. Nothing's more important than them. That's exactly right. The, uh, the cavalier attitude toward the loss of people's livelihoods is, uh, is quite remarkable. 250 Americans died yesterday of this, of this disease. That's not, that's not a lot, my friends. It's a tragedy, but it's not a lot. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick explained how the trade-off between saving lives and spurring the economy, again, how they write it, quote, I just think there are lots of grandparents out there in this country like me, that what we all care about and what we all love more than anything are those children, said Patrick, who turned 70 last week, uh, next week, sorry, who turned 70 next week, on Tucker Carlson's primetime Fox News show. My message is that let's get back to work, let's get back to living, let's be smart about it, and those of us who are 70 plus will take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country, don't do that. Don't ruin this great American dream. You know how many lives in this world are dependent upon the American economy? You know the guy in Bangladesh who makes jeans and has no place to sell it now? What is he, what is he gonna do, get Bangladesh uh, health insurance? Or I should say, um, uh, you know, Social Security. Bangladesh doesn't have the money to support him. For, for uh, it, it's just uh, the president says, you know, by Easter, which would have been then four weeks. I think we should consider starting to open the country, and the man is, is mocked by the left. This should be one of the moments where you abandon the left for moral and intellectual and rational reasons. 
He then said he would be willing to risk his life to keep the economy going. No, to keep America going, the economy, again, the trivialization of it. No one reached out to me and said, as a senior citizen, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren, said Patrick. And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. On, Tuesday air, on the Tuesday airing of his program on Blaze TV, right-wing commentator Glenn Beck said that at 56, he is in the danger zone for the virus and would also make the sacrifice. I would rather have my children stay home and all of us who are over 50 go in and keep this economy going and working, Beck said. Even if we all get sick, I would rather die than kill the country because it's not the economy that's dying, it's the country. That's exactly right. Glenn Beck is entirely right. Glenn Beck, this is in the, this is in the column. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo took issue with the ethical choices implied by Trump's priorities, saying, quote, My mother is not expendable, and your mother is not expendable, and our brothers and sisters are not expendable, and we're not going to accept the premise that human life is, di- is disposable, and we're not going to put a dollar figure on human life. God, what, a, what an empty phrase. 